Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Truly. I'm here with my co-commentator, if she wants to introduce herself. I'm Panda. How's it going? Good, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm excited for this race. Should be a banger. Um, uh, really looking forward to this. On the left, we have Wanley. Unfortunately, uh, the third racer, Shelty, she did drop uh, a couple hours ago, unfortunately. Uh, so that kind of stinks, but uh, Wanley and Chibi are both very good racers of this game and uh, very good runners. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this matchup here. Uh, Wanley, uh, he's, you know, he's one of the top runners of this game for sure. I think Chippy's more of a new runner of this game, but he's definitely been holding his own in the practice races everybody's been doing. So he's definitely not going to be a rollover at all. Um, it's going to be a very, very good race. So uh, we should be getting started here very soon. Um, I believe uh, Chippy was running for a while and then took a short break from the game. Should be getting on the way here. About 15 seconds. Are either of them on emulator? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I don't believe so. I could probably double check. I don't, I know, uh, neither of them are emulator. Thank you very much, good rocker. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, as we're getting in here, yeah, Wanley, definitely one of the top runners of this game, actively running. Uh, he's a previous world record holder until a couple months ago uh, when it got beaten uh, top five in this game. Um, and Chibi, like I said, he's a very good racer too. So even, you know, yeah, he's just, both these guys are definitely very good racers. So it's going to be, it's going to be a show tonight. Hoping that, uh, hoping to go smoothly for him. I can say relatively close so we can get a good show. I do believe that Wanley will be doing the late or the early surge route where Chippy will be doing the late surge route. So we'll, uh, we'll be getting into that a little bit later. We'll kind of maybe jump into that and the differences and stuff. Um, yeah. So the runners, they just check their IDs before the run, just standard stuff that you would normally do whenever you're playing any percent. Uh, you always check your ID to see your ID, but since they're racing, they already have their squirtles. Uh, just to keep it fair and and the same all around you just keep it the same every time make everybody check their IDs name their squirtles name your rival name yourself hopefully both these guys can get through rival one pretty smoothly see how it goes yeah pretty much in the beginning here like normally you would be tracking the NPCs here on when you're playing any percent You'd be counting the NPCs, you'd be trying to hit this manip, but pretty much in a race, you're just trying to get to the to the Squirtle as fast as possible. And as soon as this text box clears, they'll be resetting. Pretty much synced. Love to see it. Hope everybody in chat's having a good evening tonight. Um, looking forward to interacting with you all. Alright. Jump into Rival 1. They both named their Rival SG for Speed Gaming. <laughs> okay. I didn't even, I, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Thank you, Speed Gaming. What's up, Kadir? How's it going? Hopefully both of you guys can get through this fight smoothly. I don't believe we've seen a Rival 1 death in this tournament yet. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but... Wow, very nice crit for Wanley. I'll for it. When he gets crit right back. Uh yeah. I don't like I said, I don't think we've seen any rival one deaths in this tournament so far. Uh thankfully, because <laughs> if dying to rival one is really, really, really annoying. Obviously you would just reset and try again. So that wouldn't be too big of a deal, but you'd be putting yourself at a probably about a minute disadvantage right away, which would stink. Both these guys out of the lab, one the out of the lab first. So a couple seconds ahead, nothing crazy. Typically this is how it is, you're just neck and neck until this point, and then once you get into route one is where things start to diverge a little bit. Let's see what Wanley gets. A level three Pidgey for Wanley, he's not a fan of those, they both get level threes. 
Expect them both to run away. Okay, Chippy's not running away. I respect it. Not a bad roll for Chippy, I think. Yeah, it's not gonna... It's not gonna die here unless he crits. Oh yeah, you did see Wandy talk to the guy there to get the uh, the Mart potion. Uh, it's just nice to have some extra safety here. Ooh. Chippy getting punished right away going for the... The Pidgey. Not getting the 3-shot and missing. So, 5-turn fight there for him already. Wanli with another level 3. Yeah. Running away from that. Uh, I do believe, I don't remember the exact range it is, or the likelihood of 3-shotting a level 3 bird. I believe if your attack is above, like, 12 neutral attack, like, you're, you're around, like, 80% to 3-shot a Pidgey. You wouldn't think so, but pretty sure that's what I was told. I could be wrong, but I think that's... And it also doesn't feel like that either whenever you're playing the game. Chippy, in a crazy situation there, honestly could have died if he missed that tackle. <laughs> uh... Yeah, okay, Chippy's got his bubble already. Chippy going a little risky already. Yeah, I believe uh, Shelty is doing all right. They were just busy. Yeah, unfortunate. Because uh, Shelty is also a very solid runner in this game too, so it would have been cool to see her in it. But it's all good. Wishing her the best and hope everything's okay with her. Yeah, Wanli in a a little bit of a lead here, but Chippy has killed two things already, so um, and Wanli has no experience yet, so so not only is Wanli gonna need his HM buddies, he's also gonna need his experience. Where Chippy's already got uh, he's already killed two things, so he's already level seven, so he already has Bubble, which means he's gonna get level eleven for Brock's Geo dude, and also means he has Bubble, which is good not only for your route one catches but also good for um the the weedle fight in the forest a little bit later so yeah, even though it looks like chippy's behind here which he kind of is but i'd say they're about even now since wally doesn't really have experience yet okay while they getting rewarded for waiting for his experience uh, he's actually probably going to catch this one first, I would say. Maybe he probably tackles this again, I'd say. Maybe. Yeah, I respect that. Because if it would have died, it would have been fine because he still needs experience. But now this is a gu guaranteed catch. Or, well, he's just going to kill it. That's fine. I probably would have took the guaranteed catch, to be honest. But that's just me, I guess. Aren't level 3 Pidgeys, um, you should only really go to kill them... If you have certain squirtles yeah you you probably want your attack you probably want to have at least a little bit decent attack here to to go for the level three pidgeys um but it honestly just depends on person to person some people like going for the level threes because you can play a little bit of it for a top end more whenever you're going for those level three pidgeys so say you get a level three pidgey in like the second patch of grass you decide to not kill it but then you get no more encounters then you're kind of wishing you would have killed that level three pidgey so, you know, it's it just it just depends on person to person. So Wanley did get his rat. I don't Wanley got his experience and he got his rat, so he's gonna need a uh, flyer later. Uh Chibi's getting his Pidgey. This is a 78% catch. Gets in. Love to see it. Yeah, Wanley's afraid of those level three birds, so. He always tells can't me. Can't be scary. That's right. Wanley has a rat with experience. Chippy has bubble and his bird and experience. So these guys are very, very close already. Love to see it. Have a good night, lovesick. Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey. Yeah, and the. If anybody knows that meme, the Pidgey meme that is uh comes from Wanley. Yeah, so Wanley ended up with a little bit of a lead here, but Wanley doesn't have Bubble, and Chippy does, so Chippy's going to have a little bit of an advantage on Sammy. Uh, I say Sammy, but that's just a Weedle guy, uh, if you don't know well, what his name is. Wanley also opting to walk around the grass there, 
Um, which I think wastes, it's like four extra steps to do that, but you completely erase the chance of getting a, any 1% encounters in the grass. So it's not that crazy for a race to do. You see Chippy walking through the grass, those are all 1% tiles. Yeah, Wanley being a little Wanley chicken already. Living up to his name, he has to. Yeah, so you're risking the 1% tiles, but it's a little bit faster to walk through the grass there. Nothing crazy, though. Slightly faster. Uh, looks like Wanley will get the Force Potion as well. And so There's... far, he has no encounters in the forest. He has no encounters? I didn't even realize that. That's kind of crazy. Zero encounters to Sammy does not happen often. Wow, and he did it. <laughs> That's crazy. You you really don't get zero encounters to Sammy often at all. Like that's it's very very rare for that to happen. Definitely helps with an early lead. Oh yeah, he's absolutely. already have already has one encounter. Yeah. So that should be Make second encounter too. here. Yep. So it looks like Chibi's also gonna go for the potion that Wanley just picked up as well. Uh, there's three accessible potions you can grab before the this fight. Most runners or racers you'll see grab two of them because this potion they're picking up right here is a little bit slower and it's kind of out of the way compared to giving the mark guy potion and the hidden potion that's right next to Sammy. Uh, Wanley did save for this fight. And the reason having bubble. Ooh, Chippy going in. Can't say I hate it though. He has bubble and he has multiple potions. So it's not that crazy going into here. Yeah, and the little bit of advantage you have from getting bubble for this uh, Weedle guy is you don't have to set up the, the tail whip turn, so you kind of just get to go in and attack right away. It looks like Wanley did not get poisoned. Yep, yep. Wanley well, didn't get poisoned. That's that's okay. It's not the end of the world, I guess. You definitely would prefer to take a little bit of damage there, but it also makes the gym a little bit safer, I feel like. Uh, Chippy, he probably wants to heal on this turn. Yeah, for sure. And that's because he didn't save, so he kind of has to play a little bit safer on this fight. Wanley with the one encounter for us, which is very, very good. It's pretty rare to get one encounter, honestly, in all of Forest. You don't you don't really see that often. Tucker the Rat with the raid. We appreciate it. Oh yeah, that is true. It's a good thing to point out. Chippy, Chippy's used two of his potions already. I don't believe Wanley has used any of his potions actually, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, Wanley has three potions in the bag, which is pretty nice. Uh, I didn't really see. Um, I'm assuming Chippy's probably gonna go down to five health here, which normally is just the normal health you always go to with good HP, good defense rash. I'm just assuming he's going to five here. I don't have it up right now, but that's typically how it goes with a rash like this. Yeah, five HP. Okay, Wanley, the, Wanley's coming up on the Sand True. This fight is horrible for this reason alone. When you're grinding any percent, this fight is really, really annoying because this, this Sand True just kills so many of your paces. Yeah, Wanley getting sand right away. Having hit the 75% bubbles now. Just having to hit some mega kicks a little early. Uh yeah, I honestly respect this decision from Wanley. He could have it would have the Tantru would have died from there. Um But if he would have missed, he was one and three to die to scratch, so definitely don't mind him healing there. Let's see if Chippy can take a little bit of a lead on Wanley here though, if he gets a good Tantru. Good roll for Chippy. This should die. That's great. It's a it's a great move to get. Defense curls, the best move Sandshrew can use. Um, and he got a great roll and got the two shot. So it looked like Wanley had like a four turn like a four shot Sandshrew there, and he also had to heal. So yeah, I mean. Oh, Wanley going in no save. I mean, he's pretty high HP here, so he's he's kinda kinda safe to not save. He can play a little safer here to live. Yeah, these guys are very neck and neck already. Pippi should be safe, but he's also in torrent, which should help. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Wanley's like 
max like high HP. Like he's he's chilling right now. It's pretty hard for Wani to lose this battle, honestly. He has to like kinda have to try he kinda has to try to lose this fight to lose at his health, honestly. But Wani's gonna do a lot of stalling here to try to get his health down way further. But Chippy, if it goes well for him, this could uh, be really good. I don't think Chippy will stall here. If this is any percent run, you would withdraw on this turn, probably. Which he's not gonna do, which I respect that. Hopefully he gets his range. Nice. It's a nice big lead already for Chippy. You'd like to see that for sure. And his health is very nice too. Uh, looks like he'll keep Torrent for 13, but he won't keep it for 14. And you're, you're seeing the problem here with the Wandy's having to be in this high HP. Um, you're kind of just forced to sit here and stall over and over and over until the Onyx does enough damage to you. But it may be like to see with Wandy withdraw on that last turn and withdraw into bubble. And his health could have been left at a little bit better, but you definitely will take just being through Brock, especially on a race. Yeah, it was a very good gem from Chippy. Yeah, uh, it's a good, a good point out by Kadir there. He Chippy got the, so what he got the three turn Liam, which is what you want, and then he got the two turn Brock. So five turn gem. That's that's pretty much all, as much as you can ask for on uh, this on this fight. Where Wanli probably like Chippy had a five turn gem, where Wanli probably had like a ten plus turn gem. So kind of crazy. And Wanley still needs to try to get into Torrent, whereas yes, exactly. Chippy's good. Good point. Yeah. So yeah, right away you can you'll be able to tell a little bit of the difference here of the routes that the guys do here. Uh, you do a little bit of extra shopping in Pewter here when you're doing late surge, uh, and that's because you can skip this the the Mart later in Vermilion City. Um. Yeah, where with early surge you do the shop in Vermilion City, um, and that's typically to buy your para heals and a couple extra repels and your super potions when you're doing early surge. Um, but when you're doing late surge, you go ahead and buy you know you buy all your repels you need now. That's that that is the repels you need for Mount Moon and the repels you need for Rock Tunnel, and you also buy your awakenings, your para heals, your antidotes. And, yeah. This is indeed me, Lovesick. It is me. Yeah, so like I said, you'll see Chippy... Uh, Chippy will lose Torrent for level 14, so he's probably going to tackle this Caterpie with hopes of getting tackled from the Caterpie. Or he's going to bubble, that's fine. Ah, uh, that kind of stinks. I want to get in the tackle. What HP does Chippy need in order to stay into Torrent for level 14? Uh, so what, he's gonna go to 40 here, so... What, 13 would be Torrent there, so yeah, he's not Torrent. So ideally, you have Torrent for level... As long as you have Torrent for level 13 and 14, that's good enough for Route 3. You typically take that every time, and you don't really stall. Okay, Wanda getting nice tackles, so yeah, Wanda's at good health now. Where Chippy is not. He needs a little bit more damage to be in Torrent here. This Weedle still dies to... Um, water Gun. It might be a Rage or something. I'm not sure. I think it always dies to Water Gun there. Uh, would have liked to see Chippy maybe stall a turn there, but... Um, yeah. Not too sure. So now you see Chippy. Yeah, so when you're not in Torrent for these Metapods and the Kakuna, you two shot these, which you're losing multiple turns compared to if you would have just stalled once, you would have maybe got some damage, but they're not you're not guaranteed to get damage from the Caterpie and Weedle, so it's not the craziest thing to not stall. Um, but I would personally would have liked to see him maybe take some damage there for sure. Second. Uh, 
Okay, that seems to be better now. Okay. There's a little bit of problem on our, with our feed, um, but that seems to be a little bit better now, so I can kind of see there. The chippy's out. So we're gonna wait for this girl. That pass can be a little tricky. Oh uh, yeah, so like I said, Wanley, Wanley was torrent for level 13 and 14, but lost it for this level. 15, which means he two shots this. Metapod. Wanley does need a flyer now, so he's gonna go down into this grass. Hopefully he doesn't get trolled too hard here. Just get a quick bird, get out. Very nice. Yeah, so Chippy is at health. I probably would fight Rocket if I'm Chippy here. Wait, I guess Wanley crit the bird i wasn't paying attention i was kind of looking at chippy's feed there i was just kind of assuming he was gonna kill it oh my gosh wanley just crit wait okay it lived on one health okay that's kind of crazy all right all right so this is a guaranteed catch for wanley <laughs> luckily wanley probably low rolled there and didn't kill the spiro and on the other side, you see Chibi kind of cruising here, but now Wanley does have both of his HM buddies now, um, where Chibi still only has one of them. Yeah, Chibi going into Rocket, not saving. That is worth noting. He does have a revive, but it is still a little bit risky to not save for Rocket. Yeah, very interesting movement there, but that's okay. Nice quick attack here. This is the 10 and 16 range, and he gets it. All right. Big. It's very nice to get past Rocket. Rocket is the fastest optional that you can fight in Mount Moon. And you have to fight at least one optional in Mount Moon for extra experience um, in order to evolve before the the Moon Rocket fight. The guy with the Zubat and the Rats. I'm not sure what Ronley's health is here. Um, Ronley might be fighting Rocket as well with what he's doing here. Yeah, okay. I believe he's about like 14 out of 41, I think. 14 out of 41? Okay. Nice. Very solid. He also did menu and start his repel immediately when he entered instead of going up the eight steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the reason you do that is in when you're um when you're in races, you have that extra repel. So you have four repels compared to any percent, you have three repels. So that allows you to um, pretty much not have to risk the 1% tiles at all. And also, and also it gives you the extra steps to be able to get the revive. Hopefully Wanley gets this range. He does not. That stinks. He's going to have to heal it off here. He would have been risking death if he wouldn't have. He would have lived if he would have risked it. But he was... I believe he was 1 in 4 to die on that turn if he would have risked it. Can't say I hate the decision to not risk it there, but his health is in a much, much worse spot now because he healed there. Um, and on the other side, you have Chibi kind of cruising here. He's at good health, good torrent. He would be dead to a pound crit from Grimer, but that's pretty much the only thing that is that could kind of be bad here for him. Which wouldn't be the end of the world because they do both runners do both have the revive still, so it's not too crazy. Yeah, Wally going to be getting a much worse Moon Rocket fight. Ooh, very nice crit for Chibi. That's such a good crit. Such a good crit. It's crazy how good that crit is. Yeah, Wally's health is not in a great position here, honestly. Wally's going to be losing multiple turns on this fight and the next fight. Um, all because he's not in torrent right now. 14 and 16 range here for Chippy. Gets it. Beautiful. Chippy does still need his cutter, so he's going to have to stall on the grass before. Uh, Cerulean. And like I said before, since Wally's not torrent, this rat will not die unless he crits in one shot. And same with the Zubat. The Zubat will not die either unless he crits. Yeah, luckily he did not get supersonic there. I mean, he does have the Persium, I guess, but then he wouldn't have the Persium for Misty in that case, but so getting supersonic there isn't the worst thing in the world, but 
Yeah, Chibi's on a nice run here for sure. Leaving Moon at around 20, like a 23. I like whenever you leave Moon, if you add roughly three minutes to your timer, that's typically what your Misty time will be. Uh, but since you need the slave, you probably want to add like three and a half minutes to that. So yeah, like a looking at like a mid 26, which is a very solid run if he gets a nice quick. Nice. There's the rat for him. Good. Level eight. I do believe he cannot bubble that. Hits a tackle. Yeah. Wanli also got poison on the other side, which is very good for him. Uh, I can't tell. If that's guaranteed for Chippy, I feel like it's pretty much, I feel like that's guaranteed. It's either barely 78 still, or it's barely guaranteed, I feel like. But regardless, he gets in and he, he's definitely happy about this for sure. And Wally on the other screen getting a very, very slow moon, all because he had the potion on the moon rocket fight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If, they, if that wasn't guaranteed, it was very, very close to be guaranteed. Yeah, so the first thing you do when you come in Cerulean City, you run, grab the Trapel, and you'll be menuing right away. Uh, you go to level 20 quickly, but first at level 19 you get Bite, which is a very, very good move we use in this run. Uh, it's a very, very good move. We use it a lot. We literally use it the whole run. Literally from now to the end we'll be using Bite. So. Yeah, so Wandy's out of Moon as well. Left around a high 24, so Wandy, if everything goes well for Wandy, He'll be looking at a probably like a high 27 Misty, which is still a very solid race time. All, all things considered, which what has what has been happening to him already with his HP situation. Which I can't really blame Wanley, honestly, for going really safe here already. With it only with it only being a two-person race now, you probably want it to just you probably want to play as safe as you can to just try to advance you don't really want to risk anything to lose a lot of time should be starting his missy fight let's see how this goes with his health he's probably seeing okay you don't really like seeing water pulse turn one that's not the end of the world water pulse is 20 percent to diffuse you every time it's used on you so that's why this fight can get really really annoying really quickly if you just get unlucky on a couple turns Still has his person though, which is very nice. Seeing Swift, this is great. Let's check this roll on Starmie. Uh, probably not going for that. Definitely tackle there. Oh, he's going for it. I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. Nice, and he got it. Rewarded. Love to see it. That was probably like, I'd probably say it was a four and sixteen range to kill there on Starmie on that turn. If I had to guess. But yeah, he's past Misty, which you, you're definitely very, very happy about to be past Misty. 100%. Take that. Yeah, a 2630 Misty is a very, very good race time. To put it into perspective, um, when you're grinding for, you know, a, a world record attempt or like even just a PB attempt, you're happy with pretty much any any mid-25 Misty. So the fact that you're, you're looking at a mid 26 in a race it's very very solid a very very solid start now he's on to his rival on the rival yep you will see him save i hope yep while they did get confused on the star you which kind of sucks because you definitely want to make it to at least the star me with your person to have a little bit of extra here but he should be seeing swift from star me while he gets a much worse roll there that yeah, goes for the water gun that's fine you have to stall out a turn anyways on this. Yeah, while well, he's past Misty. Very solid. So it looks like Chibi went for the range in Torrent. The Torrent range on Starmie there. I, I don't remember what the range is off the top of my head. But when you are in Torrent going into this fight, you can lead Water Pulse and just hope that... I think it's like probably like a 4 and 16. Somebody let me know if... I'm wrong there, but I do believe it's a 4 and 16 to kill the star or the Pidgeotto with Torrent. So you definitely lead that there. Ah, uh, getting lead seed from 28. That's very unlucky. Uh, probably see him swap here, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Typically, when you're below half on this fight, on this mobile store, that's this is kind of the health you want to be at, is you want to be below half. 
So that way when you get, well, pretty much when you're below half, you're favored to not see Sand Attack on the Pidgeotto. And also means you're favored to not see Leech Seed from the Bulbasaur, which is what you want, obviously. I'm getting Vine Whip now. So now we're hitting for our life for Chippy. And he hits it. Okay, great. Pass the Bulbasaur. It's great. Love to see it. That was not a very good overall rival fight for Chippy, but he is through. He's going to have to heal on the rat, I would assume. He would heal on the rat, probably. Just to not risk crit. He did hit the range for the Abra. Very nice. Oh, he was in Torrent, so it's actually guaranteed. I don't with... know how to read sometimes. No, that's okay. It's no big deal at all. Uh, so he has passed this. Wani is above half, so he is more likely to see Leech Seed at this health. I would have maybe liked to see Chippy heal on uh, that turn, that last turn there. While he's hitting for his life now, let's see. Great. All right, both runners pass Bulbasaur. Love to see it. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, Chippy was at I think eight HP on the Rat, and pretty much the Rat is like using Quick Attack every single time uh, when you're fighting Rival. And typically, you know, when you're I think I don't remember the range on the Oddish, but. Typically, you're going to have to heal for the fight after this fight Chippy's on because there's an Oddish that likes to use Absorb if you uh, miss Mega Kick on it. So, like, you would have liked to maybe see him heal on the turn. Uh, but he's going to get Quick Attack there. That way, he probably wouldn't have to heal out of battle, but it's not, like I said, it's not the end of the world. It's just going to be a little extra menu. Nothing too crazy. But yeah. He will have to heal, though, before the next fight, 100%, because he is dead to absorb yeah Oddish can do about six to eight with absorb yeah 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 that that is right yeah i, I, I couldn't remember off the top of my head but yeah you'll definitely see him heal before the next fight 100 percent oh he did not heal okay i mean it's not not the craziest thing he probably i guess i guess he just heals on the Oddish. that makes sense actually yeah, that makes sense. I, I definitely agree with that. I didn't think about that, but yeah, you could heal on them. Just heal an Oddish, no big deal. That way, if you do get Absorb, he heals, gets Absorb, and then he's still in Torrent. So yeah, it's not it's not the not the craziest thing here. Unfortunate. Torrent doesn't really matter too much here. Goes for the bite. I respect it. Like if you're run if you're a racer in this game. Like, honestly, I don't really see any reason to realistically not ever just bite this Oddish. I just feel like there's no there's no reason to not bite this Oddish. Like, I don't know, man. You can just sit here and just chain miss kicks over and over and over on this thing. And it, it can be really annoying compared to just using bite twice. And you have the upside of flinching. It's just, I don't know. I always like biting regardless of my health, personally. Oh, yeah. Wani. Okay, Wani healing. Thank goodness. Both runners very, uh, very close, to be honest. Going for the kick. See, this is this is what I was saying about going for that kick on this Oddish. You can just sit here and chain miss, and it can it can literally get you. Okay, hits this one, though. Nice. Good. Pass the Oddish. Yeah, so I think, it, what is it? One, two, three, four kicks you have to hit on, on this split. And I don't know. I like having the extra kicks for the fight later. Because you have to hit kick multiple times. I appreciate that, Bang. Thank you. And now once you're past that Oddish, you're kinda in you're kinda in Cruise City, honestly, is what I like to call it. Um, on the bridge here, as long as you're just hitting the right moves, picking the right stuff, you're chilling. Nothing no no too crazy or nothing too crazy can happen from here until until Dan, you have to pass the uh, spinner called Dan. We'll see if uh, we get the Wandy Chicken passes coming in. Or not. Both runners are still very, very close to each other, so. Wandy about three pokes behind Chippy, so not too crazy. I uh, don't think Chippy's going to fight the top hiker here. I believe with this attack and his health right now, he will 
he'll fight the bottom hiker like normal. And so, yeah, so this is this is something worth bringing up here as well, since uh, since you're doing late surge, you do have to fight a train. Either you fight the top hiker here on this route to get a little bit extra experience, or you fight a trainer in rock tunnel that has one extra poke. Um, and that's just to get a little bit of extra experience to hit level 33 before Giovanni. So you can um, candy three times up to uh, 36 to get last voice. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't, can't think of it. Yeah, Wanley did catch up a little bit for sure. And if Wanley's surge goes well, he has a potential of a 45 second save versus Chippy. That's right. Seeing these guys get these elixir, it's a very important elixir to grab. Um, we would struggle a lot if we didn't have this elixir. <laughs> Pretty much you use it to restore. Well, but you use it, it's honestly, I don't know, I don't know what we would really do without that elixir. Like, it restores our water gun PP, our water pulse PP, our mega kick PP, our even our bite PP, like... I don't know, it's just such a good item that's just there. We need it. It should be getting a kind of a troll dan. Takes it a little bit safe. I respect it. You could have YOLO'd that at your 1 in 16 to get hit if you react quick enough there. But, again, there's no real need for him to risk that with the lead he has right now. In my opinion. You have good opinions. <laughs> No, yeah, like when you're when you're a lead, you kind of wanna you kind of wanna play a little bit safer to kind of kind of just maintain your lead you have. And Bagman being twice there really isn't that slow. Like it, it's obviously slower, but it's a couple seconds. It's not it's not the end of the world, honestly. Wanli with the non-Wanli chicken pass, I love it. I love to see it. And you saw a little bit of time there that Wanley saved by not bagman it being so. It's catching up a little bit, you like to see it. Wanley growing up in front of our eyes. That is not the Wanley I used to know. You definitely would have bagman with that back in the day. And I love it. That he's doing that now. Because he's a very good runner and I, I, I'd always try to tell him he needs to be more confident in himself because he's a very, very good runner. And sometimes he uh, doesn't trust himself with doing some of the doing some of the the stuff you should be doing at the top level. Should be coming in on uh, this fight. You have to hit multiple mega kicks. Hits the first one. It's great. Love to see it. Hopefully he can just tap it in a little bit here. There's a little tap in, it's a little 75% tap in here. Get him through this split. Misses, that stinks. Hopefully it's this one though. Alright, good. Very nice. Uh, this is also worth noting that Chippy is in Torrent here and he has one kick, which means or he's doing late surge actually, so you never grab the ether actually. But yeah, normally whenever you have one kick and you're in torrent, you would delay using the ether until a little bit later. But nothing too crazy. You don't, you don't, you just don't need the the ether when you're doing late surge. Uh, looking at the build time here, a mid 37. Honestly, it's a very, very solid time for a race. Honestly, like I'd be very happy with a mid 37 bill, 100%. Yeah, Wally ran out of kicks, so he was forced to go for the range, the the water pulse range on the second oddish, which is a six and 16. I want to say, off the top of my head, I don't really remember. I think it's six and 16. That sounds right. When you're in torrent and use water pulse on that. Yes, yeah. that is correct. I had to do the math. <laughs> All right, nice. We're good. Yeah, so you saw Wanley grab the ether there because he needs it. He has no kicks. Uh, and since you, with late surge, you actually get the boat heal immediately when you go into boat compared to 
Um, compared to right. early surge, where you get the boat heal after the rival fight, the boat rival fight that is. See what if Chippy can tap it in here with this kick. It'd be very nice for him to hit this. Nice, excellent hit for sure. If he would have missed that kick, then he would have been forced to go for the three and sixteen range with Torrent Water Pulse, which just kind of sucks. You don't really want to be going for that because obviously three and sixteen is not likely at all. Yeah. Why well, they get a potion? I respect that. Just playing a little bit safe. No real reason to to risk dying to a crit from the drowsy in case he does miss. Still a very, very close race, honestly. Like very, very close. Being within one fight is uh very nice. Especially this deep in already. Chippy's starting Camper Jeff right now. Yep. Uh, and he is Torrent, so that means he doesn't have to hit a kick on this fight. Um, whenever you're not in Torrent, you're forced to go for the kick on the Shraticate, but since you're Torrent, it's guaranteed to die with Water Pulse, so... Much, much nicer just to be able to pulse this and not really have to worry about kicking. Looks like Wanley did miss his kick on the Drowsy. Got a little bit of damage, though, so it's fine. Wanley's not in Torrent. So he will be having to go for the kick on the Camper Jeff. Yeah, worth noting here as well, it's a little bit of a different thing with uh, Late Surge. You want to be get So normally you get the Bike Voucher after you fight Surge, but since he's not fighting Surge early, you just want to get it before Boat or after Boat. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just worth noting that, you know, he's getting the Bike Voucher already. So yeah, it's going to allow Wanley to catch up a little bit, but Wanley doesn't have the bike voucher already, so it's kind of not, you know. Oh yeah, also worth noting, Wanley is getting the Rare Candy early, which you get later with Late Surge. And all that, all that does is allow you to save a turn frame, which is like 8 frames. So, grabbing the, grabbing the Rare Candy later allows you to save 8 frames. It's nothing... Very small optimization, but there's really no reason to not do it, honestly. Pineapple pizza, not a fan. Yeah, well, you gotta go for the kick here. Misses. Oh, this, this is very annoying. Oh, please don't crit. Okay. <laughs> that would have been really, really annoying here. Okay. It did Wait. bring him to Torrent, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, you see Chippy going into Boat Rival here. This is honestly the worst fight in the game, in my opinion, for Late Surge. This fight is just so, so annoying. And if you remember earlier when I brought up the fact that you want to be below half health going into these fights because that makes Sand Attack and Leech Seed less favored. And you saw it right there. He's above half. He got Sand Attack immediately. It's just, it's just what happens when you're above half on this fight. It's not guaranteed to go for sand, but it's much more favored to go for it. What you got? And he was forced to swap. Oh yeah, also it's worth noting, um, you don't really take any free heals after this fight with Late Surge, so whenever your HM buddies die, um, they're just dead for the rest of the run until Elite Four here, so... Very nice, very nice kick hit though on that Ivysaur. You have the lead kick compared to the other route where you lead bite and then kick. Yeah. You can sometimes get a really bad roll with bite or with kick there and you're forced to kick twice. It can be really annoying, but this poison honestly is very good for Chippy. Um, and the reason that is, is because he'll be able to manipulate his HP here to keep Torrent for all of the Rock Tunnel split, which is amazing. Being able to keep Torrent for Late Surge, uh, Rock Tunnel is amazing. A very smooth fight there for Chippy, though. Love to see it. Can't ask for it to go much better than that. Considering that is probably one of the worst fights in the game for Late Surge. Wanli leading Bite here. Let's see how it goes for him. 
And if you notice Wandy's HP here, he's below half. So he's less, way less likely to get Leech Seed here. You, you still can get it, but it's way less likely. Uh, it's fine with there, which is good. Uh, you, you heal right away because uh, he's guaranteed to vine with you again, obviously. And if you missed a kick, you're just dead there. But also, you're dead to the Cadaver's Confusion if you don't heal there either. So, and the Cadaver always outspeeds you, so you want to, you know, not die to that. Like, so you, you're, you're forced to heal on the Cadaver anyways if you don't heal there. So, like, there's no real reason to, miss, to risk the kick crit or the kick miss there on the Ivysaur. Yeah, but both runners are through rival. You uh, love to see it for sure. I wish I could say Wan Lee was cruising, but he is not. Just how Chippy got through his worst fight in the game, Wan Lee's going to be approaching his worst fight in the game here soon. And once Chippy's done with his menu, he should be heading to grab that rare candy we saw Wanley grabbing earlier. Yep, exactly. Saving those eight frames. Ah, it gets a 1% encounter. It's very unlucky. Yeah, so you don't put up a repel here because you only take six steps in the grass and all six of those steps if you do it right they're all one percent to give you encounters so it's just very very unlucky to uh to get the one percent there and wani taking his boat heal now so we'll see what happens here I'm sure Chippy would much rather prefer getting the 1% encounter there compared to the 1% kick miss on Lavender Rival, so <laughs> I'm sure he's, he would definitely take that encounter over that. So, so Chippy, it looks like he's, obviously Chippy, I'd say Chippy's probably in the lead here just by a little bit, at least. Um, yeah, Chippy's going to be a whole surge gym behind here soon enough. I believe they catch back up with each other around Pokey Flute, correct? Yes, yeah. After after Flute, they'll be pretty much back on the same path, and we'll we'll be able to see who's really in the lead after that. I'll keep an eye out on Wanley's screen here. Let's see how it's a good uh, can for Wanley. Let's see if he can get this first try can. Maybe Chippy can hit some kicks. The nice hit there. Let's see if one of these can, how this goes. Nice. Wanley got the great can. You love seeing the 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 corner cans for Surge. Because it's 50-50 to be in one of the cans, you know, next to them. So it's very you definitely prefer to get the corner cans, 100 percent Yeah, I'm wanting to get in the resetless cans. Ah, Chippy misses his kick, that stinks. Going for the bite here. I don't know what his kick count is looking like. I didn't see. But... I'm gonna... One's gonna save for sure. Yeah. Uh, I honestly would say they're about even. Honestly, like they're very, very close at this point. It's 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 kind of hard to say, but I would say Chippy probably has a slight edge. We'll be able to tell more here in a little bit. Let's see how Chippy does with this pass. Easy run to bike, smooth. Chippy's kind of cruising here. This fight is very free, so we'll check out Wan Lee's search fight while this is happening. Wan Lee got shockwave there, kind of stinks. Actually, that's that can play out in your favor with this fight, considering what, or when we see what the right she does here. We will see. So Wan Lee with 31 rash, it's looking like 37 to 43 from shockwave here. Leads double team, like this Raichu always does. Wanley missing, this sucks. This is, this is the worst fight in the game, honestly. Like, not even just for races. Like, Surge is by far the worst fight in this whole game. This is a big hit for Wanley here. This is a very big hit. Nice. It's huge. It's huge. 
first try surge for Wanley. I would now honestly say Wanley takes the lead, honestly, with first try surge. Like I said, we won't really know until after <laughs> until after Poke Flute, we'll really have a good idea of who's in the lead. And we'll have a better idea of that, but that's still a very, very nice first try surge for Wanley. So Chippy's entering Rock Tunnel currently. That's right. I do believe he elixered early, which you do when you're like pretty much out of kicks when you're entering Rock Tunnel. So we'll see. There's typically, there's like one fight in here that's like can be really, really bad, and that's the, that's Martha or the Oddish Girl. That the fight can just suck, honestly. Like you can just chain miss, and it can get really, really, really bad really quickly. With combinations of moves you can use and stuff. Um, so we we'll see how this goes for Chippy as he's approaching that fight. One more fight between him and the Oddish Girl. <clears throat> and honestly, Wanley's not that far behind. I would, I really like. So, like I said, Chippy on the right, he's doing a completely different route. So, um, yeah, it's just... <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Good flinch for Chippy. So, although Chippy is ahead now, he's a full surge gym behind Wanley. So, let's keep that in mind this whole time. Okay, Chippy going in, not saving. Which is fine, honestly. He still has his revive, so this could be fine. Not the end of the world here. I would have maybe like not a big fan of this health. Ah, uh, this isn't great. He probably wants a super here. Super into antidote, probably. Didn't I guess he didn't get the antidote or the super potion. Uh, this is fine. I guess maybe he potions on his turn. Or he just goes. That's fine. But now he's kind of forced to hit this kick. I mean, yeah, but with Late Surge, you really want to be grabbing the wall super potion every single time, in my opinion. Hopefully he just hits this kick. Misses. He will die here. Unfortunately. Mm. Not great. There is a wall super potion right before Rock Tunnel that normally you should always be grabbing with Late Surge, but maybe he just forgot or just slipped his mind to not grab it. This honestly can get very sticky very quickly if he misses this kick. Especially because he didn't save before this fight. Okay, thank goodness he hit it. <laughs> I don't think he does, Randall, no. Wally, Wally doing the chicken pass, it's okay. That was a very big hit. That could have got very, very sticky really quick, honestly, if you missed that. Luckily, he avoids that. And honestly, once you're past Martha, you're honestly pretty, you're pretty happy, to be completely honest. It's by far, like, the worst fight in Rock Tunnel, so being past that is really, really nice. So Chippy's kind of cruising now. Um, Wanley's in Torrent, so he's going to be pulsing this, spinning that. This health is fine for Wanley, I guess. Uh, yeah, Chippy's fighting this guy. Normally, you would go down and fight a different trainer here. But since you need the extra experience with Late Surge, you do have to fight this guy. If you remember earlier when I brought up the top hiker, uh, you either fight the top hiker or you fight this guy. So you're forced to fight one or the other. Why am I going to heal here? I honestly respect this. Maybe would have liked to wait for him to do this until he gets in Rock Tunnel, but no big deal. Just do it now. Not the end of the world. Yeah, now, yeah, that is a good point from Xan. Uh, I would... Uh, I would do agree with that now. That now with that Martha death that Chippy got... And that, in combination of being a full surge gym behind Wanley, I would say Wanley's probably in a little bit of a comfortable lead at this moment. But yeah. 
still anybody's game for sure. I mean, with this game, anything can happen. So we will see. I'm not too sure what Chippy's health is here, but this this Jigglypuff is a range with no Torrent late surge. Uh, gets it, thankfully. Not too much of a threat, that Jigglypuff, but I guess it can probably troll you with a combination. Probably like Sing or something, it can troll you. Uh, yeah, don't really want that to happen. Also worth noting, with Late Surge, um, uh, your Water Pulse count can come into effect here, as far as like not having enough to get you all the way through Surge, if you have to use a lot here. That's another reason why being in Torrent with Late Surge is good, because you're not forced to use all your water pulses because you can like water gun a bunch of stuff okay i was i was wondering that too to see chibi went a little high there it's okay yeah chibi did use his electrolyte so his pp will honestly not be a problem here how much xp do you load um so pretty much what it is is you with early surge you use a rare candy before the boat rival fight did you level to 27 and then you pick up two more rare candies from rock tunnel and sylph hideout and that gets you from level 34 to 36 um, before giovanni to that allows you to evolve but when you're doing late surge you actually keep that rare candy you fight boat rival at level 26 and um you're gonna be a little bit lower experience for the whole sylph hideout but you'll be level 33 right before Giovanni and then you can do three times instead of two times and that allows you to hit Blastoise and that's when it evens out Yeah, solid movement there by Chippy. I didn't really bring that up, but that was very solid to take that And you have Wanli fighting the bottom hiker here. This is the guy you normally fight when you're not doing light surge uh, this guy has three mons. It's just one mon left, or one mon less than uh, the other guy. It's also worth noting, uh, Chippy hit his kick. It's a very good kick to hit. It's one of your last kicks you have to hit in the run. So definitely happy when you hit that to get through here. Chippy had a rock tunnel with a low 56. Again, has not fought Surge yet. Not on Surge. But still, 56 is not bad at all for a race at all. He's definitely uh, definitely on a solid run here. Regardless of... Even with that death that he had to... Martha, unfortunately. Yeah, there's one more kick you have to hit. Um, but it's one of your last kicks you have to hit that's not X accuracy, so definitely happy to uh, see that for sure for him <laughs> Always whenever you don't have to hit any mega kicks you're you're definitely happy yeah, You see Wani here water pulsing this Jigglypuff and since he is doing late surge It's actually guaranteed for that Jigglypuff to die to water pulse there compared to where it's not guaranteed to die when you're doing uh Play search. Just cool little things like that that are differences. I I I'm a nerd for the uh, small little stuff like that. Also worth noting, you have to water pulse this Volpix in for late search, which is kind of funny because you kind of just assume it just dies to water gun, but it actually doesn't. <laughs> so. You water pulse it to guarantee that it dies. And that's because of, again, because of late search. It's just little little things here and there that are different with late search versus early search. Yeah, it should be cruising to sell it on. I'm gonna go to the hideout. I'm gonna go to the casino. Maybe get some slots in there, some exclamation point slots. Make sure you get them in. Get those in. I'm lucky he's not playing slots today. That's okay. I respect it. He wants to go fast. 
Another Wandy Chicken pass, but that's okay. Smooth movement there to make up for it, though. Take that. Like, where Chibi hit his kick on the rat. That is... That kick on that Raticate right there is the last kick you have to hit in the run that's not X accuracy. So you're definitely happy when you hit that. Ideally, you're Torrent for that Raticate, so you don't even have to hit that kick at all, and you can just Water Pulse it, but... Regardless, you're glad to hit that kick. Wally hits his kick as well. Beautiful. Got some tile perfect movement here in the hideout for Chippy. Nails it. That that movement's always a little scary because if you're just like one tile off, you can hit that optional trainer here. There's a couple optional trainers in here. If you're just one or two tiles off, you hit them, so it can definitely be a little spooky. While he's doing his shopping, gonna sell the nugget, which is pretty much a normalized strat now nowadays for races. You always want to be doing that. Four escape ropes, seven repel, super repels. All that lasts you to the end of the game. So. Definitely uh, pretty cool. Should be getting this lift key. We're gonna go to the elevator. Ooh, going back down the stairs. Bold strategy, Cotton. Nice little manip. I, I respect it. Yeah, that movement right there that Chibi just did, it's literally like if you go down one tile too early, that guy will see you, and it's that's a very, very bad optional trainer to hit. That guy has five pokes, and it can just... Oh, it can, Trust me, from experience, I know hitting that guy is not fun. Okay, let's just leave it at that. Wani also cruising to sell it on. Has to hit one more kick as well. Let's keep that in mind. But maybe with his health Wani's at right now, if he misses his kick... A little bit of damage probably puts him in a torrent, which will allow him just to pulse if he does miss, so it's not the end of the world. But hopefully he just hits and doesn't have to worry about that. Um, also worth noting, um, these fights that Chippy are on right now are actually much worse without torrent in this. And this is because of the late surge again. Uh, do I think that Ekans is like a six and sixteen or something? No torrent. It's not great, but you're definitely happy to get that and hit that. Or Wanley, when he gets there, even though he's not in torrent, it, the, that stuff just dies. That's just because of the, the extra experience you have. So. Should be missing that Ekans range. I'm not sure what that range is without Torrent. It would be guaranteed with Torrent. And this is also another reason why Torrent is just so good for when you have Torrent for the whole Rock Tunnel split. Because typically you carry that Torrent from Rock Tunnel into here as well. And that just allows you to get all this stuff dying in one hit as well. Sarbot can be kind of cringe. Okay, luckily it wasn't. Through that, and now you're going to see Chippy get the perfect amount of experience to hit level 33 here. Boom. And now he's going to candy three times. Get his Blastoise. And like, look at that experience. Like That experience is just perfect. I mean, it's... You literally barely hit 33. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. Also worth noting, Chippy does have both of his HM buddies fainted now, so... That's going to be forcing him to save a lot for uh, pretty much everything from here to the end because he can't really use his revive now. Because if he dies, he has no nothing to throw him in there and stuff. So. I always like watching Wanley doing this movement here because he does it different than everybody else. And I don't think it's any slower the way he does it. It's just, it's just a little bit different. But I like it. 
I like it a lot. Uh, did Chippy save? I don't know if he did. I'm not too sure if Chippy saved. Did you see if he did? Or... is a little bit risky here because he doesn't have he doesn't have a slave here to revive if he dies this king is gone luckily he didn't get unlucky there and didn't get anything bad to happen to him but i mean if you die there like without saving i don't even know where you're going back to to be honest like like you're going back to like i literally think you're going back to pallet town like it is that would have been a very very bad death without saving maybe he did save but i don't know all the way to Cerulean? Okay, so it's not that bad, but it's still it's still a pretty far trek to have to make back. Okay, this is also a little bit of uh this is okay so if you look at chippy what he's doing right now this is typically movement you wouldn't do with uh early search you would shop a little bit earlier you would shop before you come over here you would get fly you fly over to lavender town and you're just done but now he has to go get fly he has to bike back to here after he bikes after he gets out of here he's gonna have to bike to uh vermilion city um and it's just a bunch of extra movement that you have to do with late surge. But in return for that, he's going to have a 100% free surge fight. So, like, it's not... It's not the end of the world here. Yeah, so see, it's a little bit late, but... He, he literally cannot die to surge. Like, it's one of the easiest fights in the game. Which is the gamble you're taking with late surge. You have the possibility of losing 45 seconds, but that's only if early surge goes exactly as planned. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he's gonna get this T. Um. Well, I'm getting Mega Punch. Um, I do believe Wanley lives another. Mega punch here. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he just hits himself. Gets through this. Okay, bite. That's solid. He'll take that. This is just easy. Um, easy potion health for Wanley. He'll take that. Yeah. So cool little thing actually that I kind of like about late surge is that you go to Saffron early, like like he's doing now. Yeah, you're biking through it, but after you beat Erica later, you actually can just fly to Saffron City. Um, compared to having to bike all the way there from Celadon. Which is kind of cool. Wally doing a little bit of shopping. Nothing crazy going on on Wally's screen now. Let's see how Chippy... Oh, nice can for Chippy. You love to see that for him. It's great. Yeah, I agree with Chippy Kid Rocker, for sure. Uh, if he would have got first try can there, no... He would have got resetless cans I think he would have uh, he would have closed the gap a little bit more but he's okay he gets the second try he'll definitely take that and now he's cruising like he this this stuff now you're just cruising like you just you just cannot die in this gym when you're doing surge late with Blastoise uh, he's not in torrent that is worth noting actually um when you're in Torrent with Late Surge, you actually can just three-turn fight the 
surge. Uh, excuse me. You can three turn fight sur three turn surge, but since he is not torrent, he's gonna have to set up an X special. And uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much a good example is whenever you're plus one. And when I say plus one, is like whenever you use an X special and you're plus one special or whatever. It's the it's the equivalent to being in torrent. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna use this, and now he's pretty much in torrent. He's gonna get shockwave into torrent. But I mean, it's you're forced to set up that X special because you're not guaranteed to take damage from this Voltorb. So yeah, Wanley doing a little bit of menu, doing his menu and stuff. And now you're seeing Wanley take the lead. Wanley's going to the gym. Uh, he's not. I mean, yeah, he can water gun right you. Nothing. I mean, it's a little optimization. He's gonna pulse it anyways, but it's not the end of the world having to water gun or pulse that. Maybe he can come into account a little bit later. Uh, but nothing crazy. Yeah, and also, I don't know if I said it, but you're also seeing Wandy take the lead here. The definite lead, like Wandy, like this is, so now we're looking at it. This is the actual race now. Like we're, both racers have done surge. They've done hideout. They've all shopped. And uh, now you're seeing Wandy with the actual lead here. Chip's going to do his menu. Wandy's doing his stuff here. <clears throat> He's going to guard spec. So if he gets sanity, it doesn't affect him. Set up his X accuracy, his X attack. Oh, that's actually a good crit there. You like you like being a little bit of deeper torrent there for Wanley. He'll definitely uh take that for sure. These are one percent kit or ninety nine percent accurate mega. Oh my God, Wanley missed a ninety nine percent mega kick. Oh my God, he missed that one. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, holy smokes. This is crazy. Oh my god. Alright. Wait, wait. His guard spec's running out now, I think. Yeah, so he's getting intimidated. This is horrible. And so, since he missed that kick, his guard spec runs out a turn early, and that that allows the intimidate from Gyarados to hit him, which makes it to where this kick won't kill in one shot. So he kind of has to do this. Got to stall a little bit. Um... Yeah, so he has to stall and then hit the kick and then boom, now it dies. Okay, <laughs> I could have. Uh, could, <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. So like I said, it's 99% to hit that mega kick for Wanley. Very, very unlucky to miss there. And he lived on one. Like, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Yeah, he Gen three missed. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, I mean that. Honestly, that's kind of hype. I mean, it, I'm not saying it's good that that happened, but like that closed the gap a lot more between these guys. So we got a race on our hand here, people. We got a race on our hands. Yeah, so let me actually look at this real quick. I'm going to look this up really quickly while they're finishing their fights. Chippy hit his kicks, so he's good. Um, I want to actually see what Razor Leaf was doing there for Wanley. 31 Rash. So anybody, does anybody know what health Wanley was on that Ivysaur? Because it was doing 20 to 24, it looks like, with Razor Leaf. Or, no, actually, I lied. It was doing 22 to 26. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I would be really interested to see what Wanley's health was on that Ivysaur. Don't really remember. I wasn't really paying attention to that, but oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, he is gonna save a little bit of time later because he's gonna get the fly to Saffron compared to Wanley having the bike there. But that's not. That's that's probably like a. I don't know. It's a very small difference. It's probably like a 10, 10 to fifteen second difference. I mean, I guess. That is something like that definitely could uh, come into play 100%. Not sure. Um, that's crazy. Did anybody, uh, did anybody see what health Wanley was on that Bulbasaur? 
So I, I, I feel like that was, Wanley was probably like 50-50 to die to that Ivysaur from there. Which would have been really, really bad. You think it was 24? Yeah, so that Vine, that Razor Leaf was doing 22 to 26. 26 being the, the high roll. Uh, so yeah, I mean, he was, he was favored to die there. He was 26. Okay, so he got, he didn't, he got one off the max roll. So, he was favored to live then if he was 26. Ooh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, that was, dude, this is crazy. All right. If you were if you were if you're leaning back in your chairs, boys and girls, I mean, now is the time to set up, all right? Because we're we're getting to the nitty gritty. We're getting down to it. These guys are neck and neck here. Yeah, like this is like whenever you like, this is like whenever you lean forward, you know, to go to try hard mode. Like these guys both just lean forward a little bit more here, because they're you know, they're locked in 100%. These guys are locked. I'd hope they'd be locked. Uh, no optionals, Nerdy. Um, there's only been one death, and it was Chippy that he died to. Chippy died to Martha. Uh, but other than that, it's been a very clean race for both runners, honestly. Wow, while well, he was at 24 health there, so honestly, he was like a he was like a 50-50 to die to that Razor Leaf. That's kind of crazy honestly holy and should be really not that far behind right now not at not at all not at all like not at all oh yeah so i guess we can start kind of looking ahead to so like pretty much so i, I gotta take you guys through my thought process at this point in the run um so pretty much, wait, I think, I don't know why Chippy was getting hit there by the Golbat, I guess he, yeah. So pretty much when it, I think he accidentally water gunned the Golbat and it lived, maybe some, something with his pulses. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe one a little bit deeper torrent. So yeah, so what I was saying, when you're at this part of the run, kind of what you're thinking about is your health uh, going into Koga. You want your health... You want to have good enough torrent so where your torrent you keep torrent all the way from here all the way through erica ideally that's kind of that's kind of how you want it um it doesn't always work out that way but that's kind of what you want why they got double quick attack that's actually very good for him because his health was not looking that great but now he's in a very good position with his health this is going to be easy orange berry for wanley and who's going to be chilling uh, and I think Chippy's also at very solid health. I honestly think Chippy's at good health where he can even candy to 42 here with with um, the late surge route. 116.48. So I'm writing this down real quick. Wanley had a 116.48 flute. Um, I'm going to keep that in mind for whenever Chippy um, gets... It's his poker flute. We can kind of see the actual difference between the guys here. I think Chippy kind of wants a, a quick attack here. Oh yeah, why am I getting the T here? This is worth noting as well. Chippy's already got this, so I mean he's gonna be able to save a little bit of time here on him. On Wanley, that is. One seventeen forty two. So those are the flute times. If anybody's wondering, those are the flute times between the guys here. Uh, it's a very very close race. I mean, these guys are within a minute of each other, so this can literally go anybody's anybody's way here. Especially with uh, Wanley doing Koga at a lower level. Wanley doing the safer biker pass here, a little bit slower, but. It is a lot safer to do that, so he'll definitely uh, get past there. Yeah, so honestly, like, yeah. 
yeah, Chibi's around 30 seconds behind. Like, there's there's less than there's less than like 40 seconds here between these guys. Like, this is a really really good race. Wiley nailing the rare candy and the max elixir picks up. <clears throat> Wiley's gonna be cruising here through Safari. Let's check Chippy's pass. Okay. Gets passed. We'll take it. Both runners taking a more safe approach to that pass, which is fine. You definitely, uh, Definitely don't want to hit any optionals right now, especially when you're this close with each other, so. Both runners nailing their rare candy pickups and their max elixir pickups. You'll have to see it. <clears throat> I actually think Quan Lee almost missed uh, the rare candy and had to go back up a little. Unlucky. Yeah, I guess I just missed that. It's my bad. Good catch. Yeah, so you, so far he's nothing really crazy here. I mean, you're just getting the you're getting the full restore, which you need for later in the run. Like you need the full restore. Uh, pretty much in this run, you need one like, you literally need one big heal item before the elite four, before you can actually buy full restores in the elite four. <clears throat> and that full restore is literally right there. It just makes sense to pick up. And you grab the gold teeth, obviously for surf. Grab this revive. A little bit extra safety. Um, and yeah. Yeah. You're probably not going to see Chibi pick up the revive because, I mean, he has no HM slaves left alive. They're both fainted, so there's really nothing. I mean, I guess he could grab the revive, revive one of his HM buddies, and then, uh, um, yeah, then be able to kind of back up or kind of, kind of have a little bit of a backup on Koga if he does die. Sorry. I, you know, Sometimes it's hard for me to speak. I apologize. Wally getting trolled by this. Yeah, exactly. Wally getting really trolled by this spinner. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, you're probably going to see Wally Orenberry here, if I had to imagine. Wally lost like 10 seconds to that spinner, at least. As of right now, he's still about 40 seconds ahead. Very nice. Yeah, these guys are going to be literally within pokes of each other here soon. Chippy had much better luck with that spinner. Yeah. I've, it's honestly been a long time since I've seen somebody get really trolled like that. Uh, you're just probably going to see Chippy just... 33. Yeah, you're definitely going to see him just surf here. He's not going to do the Orenberry because... Late Surge, you do a little bit of different uh, rare candy in here. But it's nothing crazy. These guys are literally a couple pokes within, e within each other. Like, this is... This is crazy. I mean, honestly, like, this could go anybody's way. Honestly. <clears throat> Koga's definitely a... a one of the sca more scary fights in the run for sure like if you're if you're doing you know late sir if you're doing early surge like surge is by far the worst fight in the run but from here to the end like if i had to say like before agatha like koga's definitely the next biggest threat in the run so 100 wow very very close pickle very close holy wally saving uh, you're going to see Chibi Rare Candy twice here. Does he actually keep Torrent? I can't tell what his max HP is. Either 181 or 161. I think he is in Torrent. I think that was 42 out of 131, maybe. 42 out of 131? Okay, thank you, Zan. <clears throat> okay, while I get to minimize... Uh, yeah, so, okay, Wanley hitting through the Minimize, that's great. Uh, being, so normally, you see Wanley's level 40 now, for Chippy is level 42. That's literally the difference between early and late Surge. You can do your Rare Candies a little bit here. Uh, it evens out after Erica. it'll completely even out, but if this just gives Chippy a, 
a much, much better range on Weezy in here. Why don't you go for the bite? I love it. Please don't get poisoned. Wow. Oh my gosh. That sucks. Uh, that stinks for Wanley. But he still has both. Of yeah, he still has both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is going to close the gap a lot more. Uh... And honestly, I mean, I guess we can say this. Uh, going for the bite there, a little bit punishing. I mean, it was a 6 to 16 range. Wasn't guaranteed to die, but you give yourself a better chance there if you just go for the range compared to going for the bite flinch. And look at that. Oh my gosh. These guys are now within seconds. This is crazy. We have a race on our hands, folks. That was 11 out of 16 chance to one hit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good point. Um, yeah, so Wanley could have went for the 6 and 16, but he decided to go for the bite. Play a little bit safer. <clears throat> but he did get punished there and got crit. I mean, it's not... I don't, I don't want to say punish. It's a much safer play to go for the bite compared to just going for the surf. Um, but yeah. It was an 11 and 16 range for the Weezing to die for Chippy compared to a 6 and 16 for Wanley. It'll even out. All the XP will even out after Erica, like I said. But, oh, uh, it's just so... It's got to be frustrating for sure for Wanley to get crit there on that turn. <clears throat> I mean, these guys are literally within seconds, folks. Like, this... We could not ask for... Where else would you guys rather be right now? On this fine evening, other than watching this amazing race. Like, honestly. I can't say I'd rather be anyplace else, honestly. This movement can be a little weird. It's not too hard, but... There's a swimmer here that can kind of troll you if you don't uh, do it right. <clears throat> I like that from Chippy. It was a very, it was a very small thing what Chippy did there, but what he did, um, you can kind of bike to in front of the door and then get off the bike, and that allows you to save some audio lag from the bike. With this race being that close, I mean, you never know. That could be some deciding factor type stuff. We'll see though. Uh, one when you 31 speed, he's probably not grabbing the Carbos. He is grabbing the Carbos. Interesting. I didn't see if Chippy grabbed the Carbos. I don't think he did. Because how much closer these guys are now. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we can kind of talk about this. Um... Chibi, or with Wani grabbing the Carbos with 31 speed, if he uses it, I'm assuming he's going to use it, obviously, because you don't grab it unless you're using it. Um, with being 31 speed, that is going to lock you into doing guard spec strats on Bruno, so that is something to keep in mind here. Uh, can't say that's something I'd want to be locked into doing, but we'll see if it pays off for Wani. And the reason I say that is because um, when you're 31 IV speed and you use the Carbos, even after one Rock Tomb, you're still faster than the Onyx on Bruno. So it likes going for two Rock Tombs or whatever. Like, it'll go for two Rock Tombs because you're still faster after one. So, like, it's just really, I don't know, it's such a weird situation that I don't like getting put in. And honestly, I think a lot of runners could also agree with the same thing. I mean, yeah, that's true, but at the same time, Kid Rocker, I mean, you don't really, I just don't feel like you want to be, you don't really want to be locked into doing the guard spec strats, I don't know. Obviously, it's person to person, and I'm, I'm being a little harder on Wanley because he's one of my homies, but, you know, we'll see it, we'll see how it pays off. Um, and yeah, with, I'm pretty sure both guys are in torrent now. Uh, this fight is completely free. 
uh, Blaine. I mean, it's literally just smash the A button four times and you're good. That's another cool thing with Late Surge. Pretty much with, like, any... Any speeds, you're kind of... I think, like, not any speed, but majority of speeds, you're always outspeeding on this fight, so you never... Really? Okay, I guess he's not Torrent. Interesting. I don't... I mean... He, he is was, Torrent. Or yeah, he 40, was. 42 was Torrent there, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess... The the thing is there, it, it allows him to get into deeper torrent for Erica, so he can do X spec strats more easily for Erica. Um, that's the only real reason I can imagine him doing that. Which it's gonna work out and fine. That's a twenty nine nineteen. Twenty nine nineteen Blaine for Wanley. Yeah, so, yeah, I can I understand why he expect there. Is he getting to a little bit deeper torrent now that he so now he's very very good for Erica here. Solid health. Uh, hopefully both runners mash B here to Bill. You do not want to get kidnapped by this guy. He will not let you out. If you say yes to him there, you're forced to do all of the first, like, side quest stuff of Sevi Islands. And it's like, oh, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I think somebody said yes there, but... Looks like we are... Back in business? Back in business. We're back in business. We're back, we're back, we're back. Oh, good. Just a little technical difficulties. Little hiccups, no big deal. Welcome back, everybody. And it looks like the runners are very, very close now. As they were. Oh yeah. So, uh, so you're gonna wonder why these guys are much closer now. Uh, it, this is another. This is the final thing between late and early surge. It's because Wanley had the menu and candy multiple times there. He has. He has the candy, which Chippy's already done. He has to teach a blizzard, which Chippy's also already done. Um, and he has to heal, which Chippy didn't need to do. So, these guys are now literally seconds apart. <laughs> this is crazy. And no worry, these guys are local recordings, so... Um, if we need to verify anything, we will definitely take care of that, so... Oh, wow, I honestly didn't think about this. Chippy takes the lead here because he gets to fly to Saffron. Wow. So, yeah, if you remember what I brought up earlier about that, like, this is... I mean, it's it's showing right now, so... Chippy taking the lead because... Early Surge. Who would have thought? Still very close, though. Yeah, absolutely. These guys are still seconds within each other. Um, I didn't really see their health coming out of Erica. I believe Chippy was at four. Four, yeah. Okay, good call. So yeah, this health for Chippy, I think he's gonna... What is he gonna do with this health? He's gonna super out for sure. Wanley's super... 42. Super plus potion. Wanley's gonna double potion. For sure. I guess, yeah, he just super plus potions. This should be fine. 74 is good enough with this defense. I think he recognizes that. He does. Wanna get a little troll there by the spinner, no big deal. Wanna be getting trolled. Yeah. You're gonna see Chibi save. Uh this is honestly one of the fights, and in my opinion, you can't really not save for. Like, you kind of always have to save for this fight in races. Like, it's very, very bad to if, die to this fight. If you miss a blizzard, then you're dead in this fight. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's just... And, like, you get sent back to, like, Cerulean. You're down at X accuracy. You're down multiple X specs. Like, it can... Oh, it's just... 
it's just not great. And honestly, so it should be getting through that, not getting crit at all. Well, I'm going to set up. 93% Blizzard coming in for Chippy right now. Okay, nails it. Not out of the woods yet. He still needs to hit one more on the Gyarados. Um, even if you do miss on the Gyarados, it's not guaranteed to kill you with Dragon Rage. It's kind of weird with the AI here. Sometimes it likes going for Bite. Sometimes it likes going for Dragon Rage. It's just, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know why it does it. You would think it always would just go for Dragon Rage, but Chippy hits regardless. Hopefully Wandy can just tap it in here with a hit. Oh, that's so annoying. Please. Okay, Wandy getting the bite. He gets another chance. Please. Okay. So that's a good example of what I was saying. The AI is weird there. Like, Wandy was guaranteed dead to Dragon Rage, but the AI, I don't understand it or why it does that. But Wandy caught a break there. The, oh, wow. Crazy. That was a very, very scary miss. Chippy's out of the rival fight. Yep. Oh my goodness. I, oh. This is crazy. So just to write that down, Wanli has now missed a 93% Blizzard and he has missed a 99% Mega Kick. So hopefully, you know, we don't see any more of those 93% Blizz misses. But we are playing Fire Leaf Green after all and never say never. Yeah, both of these runners are on really good pace here, too. That is also worth noting. Uh, like, these guys are neck and neck, like, and they're both not, it's not like they're both on mediocre pace. Like, they're both on really good race pace. Like, this is kind of crazy that these guys are literally this close within each other at this point. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one more thing that's worth noting here. Oh, let's, let's just get past Giovanni for here first, and then we'll kind of talk about Sabrina. Um, so with Rash, 18 neutral defense, it looks like, I'm not sure how much Mega Punch does here. I think you'd probably, both guys here would probably take a Mega Punch, but a fake out plus range miss would probably be a death. It's not guaranteed. Again, the AI is weird. Uh, Giovanni doesn't have kill AI like that on this fight. Looks like so, I could do 23 to 28. 23 to 28? Okay, so yeah, a mega... A mega... Or a range miss here. Okay. He didn't miss the range. That is a 13 and 16 range on Kanga. Very likely, but... You definitely see people die there sometimes whenever they miss that range. So luckily, you didn't have to worry about that. Chippy didn't have to worry about that. Now, Wanley, hopefully he can tap it in. Wanley probably is dead, guaranteed, if he misses range. Okay. Nice. He wouldn't have been guaranteed dead, but like if it would have chose to use Mega Punch and Mega Punch would have hit, he would have died there. So, yeah, no fake out for either runner. Range gets, you definitely take that. Uh, Chippy is gonna have to X speed on Sabrina, where Wanley's gonna be able to skip the X speed. So, Wanley might take a little bit of a lead, or that, if Wanley doesn't take the lead, then it'll be it'll be cut. A, it, like, these guys are gonna be literally neck and neck after Sabrina. Should be losing the turn frames in this uh, gym. If you want, if you watch Wanley here, how he's going to enter these teleporters. If you enter them, like you see how he entered that one from the top, he's going to be able to walk straight down here, and that's going to allow him to skip the turn frame. So you can save what six? You can save what eighteen? You can save twenty-four frames in this gym by simply just walking into the teleporters correctly. Uh, so that's not something a lot of runners know, but um, it's definitely something that you know people should uh, do. Not a lot of people know about it either, so I'm not trying to say it like that, but um, it is something worth noting there. If he's going to have to X speed here, I do think Chippy still has his Persian Berry, so if he gets confused, I think he'll be fine, 
Did not get confused. Lovely. Love to see it. Yeah, and then you see that you see the lead getting cut immediately here by Wanley just not having X speed on uh, this fight. And these guys are literally seconds within each other. That's a 41-17, Sabrina. Yeah, Wanley eight seconds behind Chippy here. This this is literally gonna come down to the wire, folks. Like I hope everybody's strapped in for this end game because. This is gonna. This could get crazy very quickly. Hopefully, no runner is critting here. Um, honestly, that's that's like the biggest variance in this gym. As long as you're pressing the right moves and stuff, like nothing really can go wrong in this gym. Uh, the only thing you can really lose time to is critting. So hopefully, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Blue Magma 7 with the raid. Thank you very much, brother. We appreciate it. Hope your stream is great. Welcome in, Raiders. You guys have come in at a great time. This race is very, very spicy. These guys are 8 seconds apart in the very last gym. That would be going into the E4. This is going to get very, very spicy very quickly. Um... Okay, now let's try to pay attention to see if anybody crits here to see if, you know, anybody loses time to that. Because that is the biggest variance in this gym. And with it being as close as it is, I mean, stuff like that can matter, so we'll see. Going on the spinny, the spinny things. Everybody loves going for a little spinny, spinny spin. I don't believe there's been any any crits so far. Obviously, I don't want anybody to crit. I'm just I'm just pointing it out, you know. Don't don't shoot the messenger here. I'm just I'm just laying it out the facts here. The first fight had no crit. Yeah, that's good. No crits yet. This is very really close. Are just seconds. Literally, like this is crazy. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh. No crits yet. No crits yet. So what, you use, I think you use, so what, 13 moves here in this gym? 13 pokes? So, 13 different chances to crit. I've definitely seen... I think the worst I've had in this gym, I think I've crit like four times or something like that in this one. In this gym, it's just, oh, it can be so silly sometimes with this stuff. It literally does nothing but just lose you time, so it, it's so annoying whenever you just sit there and crit multiple times. And with Chippy and Torrent, he is able to water pulse everything. Yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, it is worth noting because sometimes your surf count can be a little weird here and you need i think you need at least two surfs for yeah you need at least two surfs for viridian rival i think you can get by with only having one i think but you at least you know sometimes you can yeah you want at least two going into viridian rival but it's no big of it not that big of a deal you can always work around it you need at least yeah i mean you honestly like you probably realistically only need one for the for the Pidgeot. Uh, you probably could just bite Blizz the Gyarados and then bite the Alakazam if you really had to. You don't want to, but probably could. This is crazy. I mean, no crits from either runner. I mean, oh my goodness. 
see how much the time changed here. 55. 57. I mean, Wani saved five seconds there uh, in that gym. And Chippy uh, is at a level 50 compared to Juan Lee at a 49. Oh, interesting. I didn't recognize that. I wonder if that's always how it is. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I guess, I mean, that might just be a I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just probably a late surge versus an early surge thing. Then maybe the Venusaur... The Venusaur... No, no, no. Okay, Venus... Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, so I'm... that is normal. Yeah, that is normal. Okay, I was thinking it's something with Elite Four Round 2. There's something here with this Venusaur. It's weird. I don't know. I don't want to be... I don't want to be that guy, but let's just... Let's hope... Let's just move on. Let's... Hopefully these guys can get through this fight. We have another fight where... You're forced to hit the 93% Blizzard, and if you miss it, you're probably dead. Um, not guaranteed, but we'll see what happens. Both did save. Both did save, yeah, exactly. I'd expect them both to save for everything from here, to be honest. Gonna set up an X special. You need to go to plus two specs and plus one ack. Um, maybe look for one of these guys to double X ack if they get a feather dance here. You don't really see feather dance often, but if you do see one, maybe you see one of these guys set up two X acts. Neither one of them get it, so neither one of them are gonna do it. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can tap it in here. Everybody pause champ. Chippy hits his. Great. Okay, Wanley hits his. Great. Beautiful. It can just be so heartbreaking to see missing blizzards here. It's just ugh. These guys are just seconds apart. This is crazy. I mean, l literally let E4 decide. I mean, who, who would have asked it? It couldn't have been any better than this, honestly. Like, maybe he gets the flinch. It's a really good flinch if you get it. Wow, it's such a good flinch. Oh, I love getting that flinch. And he missed. Oh, it stinks. Why did he be able to take the lead here? Wanley um, did not get a flinch, though. Yeah, Wanley didn't get the flinch, but Wanley got Hydro Pump instead of Rain Dance. So, you're going to see all this extra rain text that Chippy's going to get. It's going to lose him some time. So, this is going to put Wanley in the lead by probably about 10 to 15 seconds, I would say. Oh, no. Actually, I, I lied. Okay. Just I completely forget what I said. I honestly forgot whenever you get rain dance, you don't have to set up the X speed. So, these guys are actually still neck and neck here. Completely <laughs> forget what I said. Oh my gosh, they're so close. Wani is taking the lead though. Um, yeah, whenever you get Rain Dance, um, you do not need to set up the X speed, um, which is a cool little thing. As long as you can tank the, the Alakazam Psychic, you just don't have to set up the X speed on Growlithe, which is pretty cool. Because that allows you to kill the Alakazam through Calm Mind because Rain is up. Um, which you cannot do with uh, when the rain's not up. I think I don't. What is? What? Is, what am I thinking here? I don't remember. There's something. Something weird with that. Somebody. Somebody smart in the chat will let me know. But my mind's all over the place here. I'm just. I'm just so nervous for these guys. I just want this race. I don't know. I don't want nobody to die, man. I'm just nervous. You know. It looks like Chippy is opting to go for the little bit of a safer play. And that is to repel a little bit earlier and teach strength a little bit earlier. And that allows you to not have to risk any repel, any encounters at all in the victory road. Your movement, so when you're doing the movement like Wani's doing, your movement has to be absolutely perfect in victory road here. And even when your movement's perfect, you still have to risk two tiles of encounters at the very end right now chippy since he repelled how he did he's not going to have to risk any one percent tiles with finally just risk coming in there and he's also not going to have to risk the encounters at the end but yeah but like kid rocker said it is an extra menu so it's kind of it's kind of that i don't know do you want to do an extra menu don't have to risk the encounters or do you want to you know skip that menu and have to you know take that chance to get the encounters at the very end of victory road and like i said your movement has to be tile perfect here for if you're wanting 
Um, even if you like, even if you do the movement perfectly with this repel setup, Wanley has. Um, even if you do the movement perfectly, there's still two tiles of uh, at the very end that you have to risk. So every step that you mess up is just another step, another encounter chance on top of that. <laughs> two steps already. Oh yeah, and Wanley Wanley's one of the best in the game, so I definitely uh, expect him to nail this movement for sure. What is the chance of an encounter in those last two steps? Is it also 1%? I don't think it's 1%. I think it's just a normal... Um, just a normal chance of an encounter. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I do believe it's just a normal... Just at any normal chance just to get it. Just over 1%. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because you probably take... It's probably right... I think the, what Kid Rocker's saying is it's just normal tiles to get an encounter chance. Like, um, because you take more than eight steps, like you, it's probably like your ninth and tenth step is what he's saying. Compared to a the lot first, of percents going on. yeah, a lot of percents, man. Yeah, like ten percent per tile. We'll just we'll just roll with that. Screw it. I mean, technically, you can say it's fifty-fifty. You either get it or not. Yeah, I agree. He's either gonna get the encounter, or he's not. No big deal. So Wanley nailed his movement. So you're going to see here at the very end, he's going to run out with two tiles at the very end that you have to risk. Boom. No encounter. Take it. Definitely love to see it. Wanley's on his way to E4. Here we go. I mean, these guys are literally seconds but part of each other going into Elite Four. I mean, could we have asked it to be any better than this? I don't think we could have, honestly. I do not think we could have wrote a better script. And yeah, you buy your full restores here. Like, you need full restores for Elite Four, and it just, I don't know, it's just the best place to buy them is there, so. <clears throat> Might as well. And here we go. I'm interested to see what these guys do here. There is a, there's two different strategies you can do on this fight. You can either just straight up go to plus four, and then two shot the Dugong, while they get hail right away. They're kind of cringe, but... It is what it is. You're you're expected to get hail. Um, so Wanley will go to straight up plus four now since he's got hail. Um, if you don't get hail on the first on your turn one or two, you're probably gonna see. Um, Chippy just go for two bites because when it gets, I think it's when it gets below. Chippy's probably gonna go for bite here. I would think. Yep, he's gonna go for the strat. Ideally, he does not. Ideally, he flinches here. That'd be oh my god, that's such a good flinch. So when it gets below. A flinch here would be the nutties. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So that's hailless for Chippy. Um, so the reason that is, when this Dugong gets to this specific health, it's it will not hail anymore. Um, it literally will not hail. So now he's just free to set up, and now he has hailless. So while Wanley's still getting hit by this hail, oh my god, this is this is crazy. And it's cool that you kind of see the different strats you can do on this fight. Um, this is putting Chippy in the lead. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Barely, but still. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, every second matters at this point. Like, literally every second, so. I want to get in Protect. That stinks. It's going to give Chippy a little bit more of a lead. Uh. Wow, double Protect. You, like, wow. It's very, very unlucky for Wanley. But this Lapras can be... Very, very cringe. So we will see what happens on this Lapras. This Lapras can just lose you so much time. Like, it's actually kind of crazy how much this Lapras can troll you. Ideally, you just flinch. Crit flinch is the best, but it never happens. Body slam. Body slam can do uh, about, I think, 28 to 34 here. 28 to 34, yeah. Cool, so you're going to see Chippy heal there right away. I mean, you probably could risk it there, but he's going to have to heal anyways, and he's playing around getting crit. 
so like there's no reason to risk a crit there like oh what a crit for chippy what a freaking crit and this is really good health going into bruno as well he's just going to be able to go into bruno not going to have to stall or not going to have to full restore he literally can just go in and just set up right away this is this is this is crazy wanley's through as well wanley will have to full restore turn one on bruno actually wanley can't because he he's forced to do the guard spec strat and this is not great health for the guard spec strat I guess he double potions here. I don't. I don't know. Yep. I don't know what Wandy does here. I guess. I, I, I guess he's he just not. The best. He's not locking himself into doing. I guess he has two guard specs, so it's not the end of the world, actually. This is really weird here. We'll just look at Chippy right here. He's going to spec spec. Now he's going to speed. He's probably going to get Earthquake. Great health. That's a fantastic fight for Chippy. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Why are they getting rocked to miss? That's such a bad turn one. Oh, it's such a bad turn one. Chippy's cruising now. Chippy's 100% safe. He cannot die. Um, so let's turn our eyes to Wanley here a little bit. He's going to spec. He's going to Earthquake. He's going to have to spec again. I think Wanley's now plus three spec. Uh, you're going to see him speed on this turn. Earthquake. This is probably not going to be enough damage. I think he might not keep it all the way through 54 here with this. This is just a little bit too high, I think, for Wanley. It's either just enough or just not enough. I'm not too sure. Somebody maybe wants to com uh, confirm that for us and see, but... Yeah, kid said 50-ish is fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so pretty much when you're coming out of Bruno, you want to keep Torrent for all of Bruno and all of Agatha. Like, that's your goal with Bruno, is you want to leave Bruno at HP, where you can get through... Or you want to leave the Onyx, the first Onyx on Bruno, where you can go through all of Bruno with Torrent and all of Agatha with Torrent. That's what you want. Um... Which, Chippy's at very good health to do that, and we're kind of worried for Wanley here. Um, and Wanley loses it for 54, for sure. Like, Wanley definitely loses it for 54 here. I don't think I'm crazy. Okay. So, whatever, they're both through Bruno. Chippy starting Agatha. Yep, he's gonna throw up a speed and a spec. He's getting double team. That's just typical turn one. He's gonna spec. He'll probably get double team again. Yep, now it's a 60% of destiny. Let's see what happens. He hits. Wow, it's beautiful. Can't ask for much more than that. The free fight from here. 60% of destiny. Just love to see it. So Chibi has a free fight now. He's just spamming surf. For the rest of these pokes, let's look at Wanley. Let's see what's happening here. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to speed. Wanley would really like to see a Shadow Punch here. It's not often that it decides to do it, but sometimes it can randomly just decide to Shadow Punch you. Uh, did not. Wanley has a 60% of Destiny now. Let's see. He hits. Okay. I mean, wow. I mean, you can't ask for much more than this. I mean, wow, these guys. But now we're turning to the fact that Wanley will not be Torrent for... He's going to lose Torrent here, for sure, at level 54. 100%. You can see the slight XP difference that you get when you do late surge. Yeah, for sure. It's very slight, but I mean, it definitely... You definitely can tell, 100%. Wani doing something, going to set an extra X special. Sludge Bomb? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, Wani's dead. Wow. That puts Chippy in the lead. That stinks, man. That's... Oh, Juan, that's so unfortunate, man. Was he still torn there? I'm not sure. Uh, did he hit 54? I wasn't... I was not too sure what happened there. I, I looked away for a second. I didn't... I really did not know what was happening. I was looking at the roll. Um... That stinks. And you can see, like... If you would have just left Bruno at literally like one HP less than what he is right now, he would have been fine. Shadow Punch turn one for Wanley. That's very weird, but it's not the end of the world. You're gonna get Shadow Punch again because he was guaranteed to die. 
This is this is better health. He's good now. Oh my gosh, one of these got so trolled. Wow. That would have been perfect. He would have lived and would have been completely fine there, but Oh, that stinks. I get I now we're turning our eyes to Chippy here. He's on he's on he's on Lance. He's getting bite. He's set up he's bite. He set up his spec. He's gonna set up his ack. I wonder he should go for double ack here, honestly, I would. Yeah, he does. It's a good play. Uh, he's gonna heal on this turn. He's dead to Hyper Beam, so you gotta heal. While he's setting up his speed again, this is Chippy's in a good position now. He's double act. He's full health. Um, he's cannot miss Blizzard now. Like you're in a good position here. Wanley, hopefully he can hit his Surf now. He's got a hit. Ah, uh, he misses. Oh, Wanley's getting Wanley's getting Agatha, man. This is just oh. He's getting Agatha, man. He's just missing. Okay, he hits finally, but again, while he's in the same position now, where like he's, he's gonna level out a torrent for 54, so. So we'll see what's gonna happen here. I don't I don't know about this. I would have rather just Please don't crit. Okay. While he's good now. Okay, I mean he had to set up again. He had to stall a turn to get full torrent, but he's good now. He's through. That sucks, but he's through. I don't really know what he could have done there. He probably could have gone to plus three on the Gengar instead of maybe stalling on something else, but it's not the end of the world here. Chippy should be good for Aerodactyl. I don't think he can die to Aerodactyl. Definitely just not dead to Hyper Beam. Ancient Power, please don't do it. Wow, he got the Ancient Power boost. This is so bad. That's 5%, what is happening? I don't think this dies. He's not Torrent. I don't think this dies. Wow, that's got to be a range. That has to be a range, right? No Torrent. Like, I don't know. Pretty sure that's a range. It Luck is. Luckily, he did get the range, but wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, Wandy's fighting through Agatha. You're going to see Chippy go really safe here, for sure. You're not going to see Chippy do anything crazy here. He's going to go really, really safe. He's a full fight ahead, Juan. Like, there's no reason for him to do anything crazy here. Uh, I don't know the range. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, we're not too sure of the range. I'm sure somebody knows, but I'm not too sure on that. Again, All it's I very unlikely. Is the note specify you will have to surf a second time? Yeah. Ooh, that was yeah. Very unlucky because it's not guaranteed H of power. It can wing attack there. And even if it does H of power, it's only 5%. So. Alright. You got Chippy setting up his guard spec. I'm trying to kind of watch both here at the same time. Wow, that's not a great turn one there for Chippy to get crit by Aerial Ace on turn one, I will say. Aerial Ace. Um, this is not great for Chippy. I don't know what he does on this turn. Four store. Uh, this is not. Gr I mean, I guess he has an extra guard spec, so it sh he should honestly be fine. I think. Maybe because it's he's just gonna have the guard spec again. His guard spec should wear out right now. Yeah, so he's gonna have the guard spec again. Not a big deal. He's completely safe now. Honestly, he honestly could double X act if he really wanted to at this point, and I honestly wouldn't hate that. Actually, he can't double X act. He doesn't have the extra one. Excuse me. Okay, looks like Wanley is looking good. Looks like Wanley's cruising. I don't know if Wanley's double X act or not here. Uh, Chippy is plus three and he's in Torrent, which means he can bite surf this Venusaur, which is very nice because you don't have to risk the 93% Blizzard, which you love it. You, you really, really love that. You don't want to have to risk this Venusaur at all. And that honestly, that Venusaur was probably the last thing in his way from winning this race, so. As long as he goes safe here, he should win this. Which I assume he will just full restore on the Gyarados and then just win from there. Looks like Juan is good though. Um, I don't know if Juan needs double X accuracy though, so he might be able to miss this. I don't know. 
Regardless, Wandy's fine. He should get hit into Torrent here from the Aerodactyl. So even if he gets Ancient Power Boost, um, it'll it, the Aerodactyl will die because he's in Torrent. But surely we wouldn't see two, right? Clueless? Okay, nice. Very good. Wandy's through. It looks like Chippy's going to take this race 100%. Played it very safe. Healing on the Gyarados, which is the correct play to do. Hit this Blizzard for Chippy. He misses. Okay, I mean, this is kind of... Oh my gosh. Okay. He gets a full restore. I mean, Gyarados trying its absolute hardest to take the give, not give him a chance, but... Gyarados Thrash does uh, 40 to 48. Yeah, and with that crit, wow, wow, could you imagine if you would have died a crit there? Holy moly. Chippy cannot lose from here. Er, er, extreme speed crit will not kill. As long as he presses the right move, he wins. Two inputs, and you win here. As long as he presses the right. There you go. GG for Chippy. Very good race. Wow, like, these guys put on a show for us. GG. GG to Chippy. Let's see how Juan finishes off. That is a here. really good race time. Oh yeah, absolutely. Looks like it's gonna be a what? A 208, a 208, 18, or something around there. 208, 20, something. What he should get. I trust your estimate because I have absolutely <laughs> no clue. <laughs> uh, Wanley looks good now. I think this is his second spec. He's gonna set up his third spec here now. Um, let's see what happens. It's not Torrent, which means Wanley will have to go for the 93% Blizzard on the Venusaur. We'll see what we we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, Wanley gets Growth. Growth here is hype. He does not get Growth. He gets Solar Beam. He needs to hit this. Okay, thank goodness. All right, Wanley should be good. Wanley knows how to play this correctly so Juan should be through for sure and yeah GG to Chippy 20817 my estimate was off by a couple seconds but 20817 I mean that's that's a very a very very good race time you cannot ask for much better than that honestly that'll that that time will win you most races to be honest against most people so definitely yeah, I'm sure Chippy's very very happy about that I'm sure we'll get Chippy in here for an interview soon enough. Uh, you're probably going to see Wandy full restore on this turn. Again, there's no real reason to risk crits. So you just full restore, play around that a little bit. Uh, Flinch here would be really good. It would just seal him the win, probably. Nice. Just hit this blizzard and he went, or he's through. GG to Wanley. Very, very, I mean, very, very, very good race, man. I mean, assuming Wanley presses the surf again, obviously. But yeah. A very, very good race front of these guys, man. I mean, hats off to these guys, man. I mean, this was, from honestly beginning to end, these guys were neck and neck. Like, like, crazy. I know someone said it in the chat, but Chippy did just get the second best time so far of this tournament. Yeah, GG to Wanley. I mean, gosh, these guys, these guys put on a show, man. Like, considering this was literally a two-person race, I mean, like, typically when you see a two-person race, you're kind of scared of of seeing a race where one runner pulls really far ahead of the other and it's not really that close. But like, gosh, these guys, these guys were literally neck and neck from the beginning. And just yeah, hats off to these guys. I mean, hell of a race, hell of a freaking race. Wow. Yeah, like, all things considered, you really, really couldn't have asked for a much better race than this. And it, it really came down to Agatha. I mean, Wandy got really, really unlucky on Agatha with multiple deaths on Agatha. And, I mean, it's like, wow, man. GG, Wandy.
GG Wanley, welcome yeah, in, buddy. So much money with all that bad luck, dude. <laughs> dude, that, dude. <laughs> I mean, first of all, good. I want to say like, hats off to you guys. Hell of a race. That was amazing to watch. Like, wow. Yeah, that's what we wanted. That that's was we so sick, about. guys. Like, that ending though. Fuck. GG's for real to both of you guys. Hell of a race. And congratulations, yeah, so Chippy, on the win. Thank yeah. You, thank you. Congratulations, and I mean, Wanley, great race as well, man. I mean, you got really unlucky on Agatha. Couldn't really do anything about that, but yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what to do with like losing torrent. Yeah, maybe could have went the plus three on Gengar, but I mean, it's again, it's not the end of the world. But I mean, you literally, if you'd have got like one extra hit, one extra HP off Bruno, you would have been fine. Yeah. Right? Like, or if I, okay, if I would have had one IB better HP, if I would have taken one HP more damage, or if Sludge Bomb wouldn't have poisoned me, and then on the yeah. second one, I got. Crit Shadow by Shadow Punch, dude. Like, where you would have been fine if you just wouldn't have got crit on that turn. And you saw the you... Mega Kick miss. Yes. On lavender, right? Dude, we were and then I survived out. the race of leaf because I have 31 speed defense, dude. Like, dude, you were literally like, you literally were. I think you were like 50, 50 to die there. You were 24. I think the I roll know. was 22 to 26. <laughs> so. Like, oh my god, there were so many crazy, man. times, but yeah, it was oh, such no, a fun man. race. I had such a fun yeah. time playing doing yeah, this yeah, race. GG's guys, for sure. But GG Chippy. GG's guys. Yeah, um, I mean, both of you guys had deaths. I mean, yeah. Um, what were you I, saying, I, Chippy? Sorry. I can't believe he missed that kick on Venus or Ivy Silver, and then he lived <laughs> on one. Dude, I was so happy that he lived on one. Cause I was like, <laughs> dude, I, like I said, all I wanted was a close race. Yeah, and for sure. I'm, and you definitely was, got one. <laughs> yeah, that's for that's for damn sure, man. Yeah. Chippy, Chippy had that Martha death early. Mm -hmm. um, I think Wanley died. To Koga. Koga, you got crit. Yeah, I got Koga, slush crit. And then two deaths on Agatha. But other than that, I mean, a very, very solid race out of both of you guys. I mean, that was that was so fun to watch and commentate, honestly. Oh, yeah. And also the Blizzard miss on uh, Gyarados. Yeah, and the bike. It's oh, truly yeah. punished oh, for, not, for not using a super to heal to like 90 and using two X accuracies when I bought seven. <laughs> yeah, dude, totally. <laughs> you should listen oh, to you, bro. Oh. <laughs> but oh well. Yeah, man. It is what it I is. mean, I mean, you guys were both advanced around too. Definitely uh, looking yeah. forward to watching you both. I mean, you both are threats to win this tournament. So, I'm oh, dude, looking, cheapy for sure, dude. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to watching you guys and see how far you both can go. Honestly, it's gonna it was, be really fun. Absolutely. Um, well, thank you guys so much for commentating. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, any yeah, time, and thank you, Speed enough. Gaming. I do. Um, I uh, PSR TV <laughs> for uh, hosting all this for us. Dude. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, so if anybody's curious, uh, this tournament is just now getting underway. I mean, this is literally the first round. Like, this is the first round. Like, we have, like, three, four more rounds of this. So, like, if you like this, I mean, stay tuned. Follow the channel. I mean, I mean, we have another race coming up tomorrow. Uh, I think it's Pokey Guy, Kadir, and Doomies. Oh, wow. I think oh, that'll be... be yeah, for sure. That'll be around 5 o'clock Eastern, I believe. So, if anybody's interested in watching that... Uh, you know, tune in there. It's going to be really, really fun. I mean, Pug guys is one of the best in the game, so, you know, we'll see what happens there. I mean, yeah, he all right. He's all right. Yeah, let's not gas him up like that. He's, he's all right, just, dude. He's all right, bro. He has his days. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he hasn't been playing the game, so we'll see how what happens. Um, true, true. Anything else you guys want to add on before we sign off here tonight? Nah, I'm good. Nope. Actually, I got to yeah. go to a ticket exam. So. All right. Good luck, dude. dude. Yeah, good, good luck, luck on your exam. <laughs> GG's to you guys. It was a hell of a race to watch. And, Till next time, everybody. Hopefully, see you all tomorrow. See you. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Bye.